Sally. Yes. And you're back on Broadway after 15 years. I, I am. I'm back on Broadway. Doing Tennessee Williams' uh, Tennessee. Glass Menagerie. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, why do you think it's the, the film was first, I mean, the film, the, yeah. the play was first performed in uh, 1944. 40. Why do you think the, the story still holds up now? It's a magnificent piece of writing. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, a really young writing by a young genius. I mean, Tennessee Williams was. Um, and uh, when he wrote the play, it was so new. It was so sort of avant-garde what he saw. It's rarely really been done the way he originally wrote it. Um, because at the time, they went, huh? What? What? This doesn't make sense. It was before the great, you know, Edward Albee had come in and mm -hmm. Theater of the Absurd had come in and yeah. sort of changed how theater contained itself. You know, how do you can tell a story? And so um, I think Glass Menagerie in specifically offers so many opportunities to come and revisit it in, in many ways, in many um, hands. Right now it's in the very capable and quite extraordinary hands of Sam Gold, who is the director, who um, has, a, has a vision of what story he's telling, um, which is exactly Glass Menagerie, but has not quite been seen this way before. And I think in some ways, in some weird ways, it, it pertains to where what is happening in, in the world, in that Amanda is, has these two children, I'm my character, who are unique in their way. One of them being um, closeted gay, who's having a very hard time around his mother, who refuses to see anything that isn't of the mind, of the spirit, and she wouldn't allow that in a million years. And um, her, her daughter, who is perhaps, you know, is physically challenged, but more than that, she doesn't want to do the things that her mother did. She doesn't want to get married and, and, and you know, have a man supporter. She has maybe other things she wants to do. So Amanda is the great killer of differences. And I think, you know, in, she, Amanda wants everything to be the way she can contain it. She understands it. Let it be like me. Let, it, let every, both my children be what, the way I was, the way I can understand. And I think that's a lot of what's happening is let's um, go after the others. Anybody that isn't exactly fitting down this one road, which has been set up as being the right white road. What was the first time you were on stage? Oh, uh, oh, when I was twelve in in seventh grade. <laughs> really? Oh, twelve? Yeah. yeah, I was twelve. Who were you? What, what part did you play? I, I was I was in scene study, and I had a scene from Born Yesterday. Sure, sure. Did oh, you play sure. Judy Holiday? I played you. I played the blonde, blonde bombshell. Mm -hmm. It was complete typecasting, you know. It's like. <laughs> You know, Heidi the little goat girl taking a stab at Medea or something, you know. Hey! You know? <laughs> but it was my first scene, mm -hmm. and I remember it vividly. How did it go? Oh, it was dreadful. But oh. Did you do anything before that, like school pageant or anything like that? No, like, no, no. I that was, was very it? shy. Yeah, no, wow. I didn't. You know, we, we would have, you know, Christmas pageants where you held a candle under your face and walked down and sang Holy Night. Did you and do all that? that? Yeah, I was, but I wasn't. Were you the Virgin uh, Mary or anybody like that? Oh, no. They got to be the stars. I, I never, I wasn't any of those. I was just one of a, a group of, you know, herd of people that. First time in. I was ever on stage, if you don't mind me telling you. you I, were, I heard you were butt naked. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, honey, honey. That wasn't the first time I was on stage. Oh, was that it? was just my favorite time on oh, stage. Oh, yeah, well, that would do no, it. <laughs> the, first time, the first time I was on stage was I was uh, the fourth wise man oh. in, in the Christmas pageant. Oh. I was the fourth wise man what? because our, our power went off at our house. And <laughs> my mom had spent all this time making the costume and making my little box of treasure that we got to church late, and she goes, just go up there on the altar and be the wise man. I said, there are already three guys up there. They replaced me. My mom said, get up there. <laughs> so I went up there, and I was the fourth wise man. That was my first time on stage. I was hooked. I was hooked. I've been dumb since the beginning. I've been dumb since the beginning. Oh. Sally, it was lovely to see you. Oh. <laughs> the Glass Menagerie opens March 9th on Broadway at the Velasco Theater. Sally Field, everybody.